In this video, I show you exactly how to add a YouTube watermark subscribe button to all of your videos in just a few clicks, like this one right here, as well as how to create custom branding watermark to match your YouTube channel just using free software. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now, if you're wondering why you might want one, well, outside of being just another branding element, that little watermark becomes a super accessible subscribe button, giving viewers an even easier way to subscribe to your channel. So it's a cool element of optimization that can help maximize your subscribers. So we're gonna start off with a quick overview of the key things to keep in mind before diving into how you can easily create a custom watermark for your channel. But if you've already got that sorted and you have an image that you know you wanna use that's ready to go, then just skip ahead because in the last section, I'm gonna show you how to add it to all your videos in just a few clicks. So just check out the time codes in the description below or the chapter markers on the bottom of this video. Okay, a couple of quick things to note about your YouTube watermark or your little subscribe button is that it's going to be small. So the goal of it is to get people to click and to subscribe. So you wanna make sure that it's not too bright and distracting and also try not to have too much text on there that is going to be hard to read. But really you can put anything you like on this image. It could be your face, it could be your logo, but because it is a subscribe button, for us, we like to make it look like one. So that that's what it's obvious that it's there for and that it's more likely people are gonna click it. When you're creating it, it needs to be a square and it needs to be a maximum of 150 by 150 pixels. And don't worry, we're gonna cover this very soon. But also when you're uploading it onto YouTube, you actually get to control when it's shown inside of your videos. Now these will show up and work and be clickable on a desktop. They do show up on mobile devices only when it's in landscape, not on portrait, but even on landscape, they aren't clickable on mobile device and it's gonna show really small on mobile. And they also won't show up if you're using another video player to embed your video on say your website or somewhere else. So they're primarily made to work on desktop and on YouTube. Now in terms of creating one, you can really use any graphic software out there. You don't have to be using Photoshop. I'm gonna take you through and show you how easy they are to create just using a free service called Snapper. All right, so we're over here at Snapper's website now. If we just bring up the pricing, you can see that there is a free plan that gives you three downloads per month, and it's ridiculously cheap if you do go above that. But this is all we're gonna be using for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And then in here, there's lots of presets and templates and things that you can use. But we're gonna go up to the top here, and we're gonna type in our width, which is 150 by 150, and go create. So we're left here with an empty canvas. So this is going to be our graphic. So I'm gonna come over here to background and in here we get to choose any of the photos or anything you wanna use, patterns, uh, you can upload graphics. But for this one, I'm just gonna pick a basic color. So we're gonna choose a background color. Let's pick some sort of red. Let's go custom, something around here. And let's close out of this. Okay, so we've got our red background there now. Let's go ahead and add in some text. Uh, let's go a heading. This is gonna come in massive, so we wanna shrink this down. Uh, let's just try around 20, 22. Okay, a lot smaller, that's good. We can resize this afterwards. We want it small enough so that we can see the text box. Let's double click on it, let's type in subscribe and select this. Let's change the font here to lots of different fonts. Uh, let's just go with this one here, Anton. We can make it a bit bigger now. Subscribe. Now let's change the color to white so that it stands out. Let's bring this down here. Again, we can move these things around afterwards. Let's just wanna get everything in there and we can start playing around with it. Now to keep it simple, let's bring up a play button or something in the top here or a YouTube logo so that it looks like a subscribe button. So we can come across here to graphics and in here there's lots of different graphics and things that you can use. So you've got icons, you've got vectors, there's photos, or again, you can upload your own. So let's come back over here to icons, and then here you could type in something like play or YouTube even. Let's go YouTube, and we've got lots of different play buttons and things and YouTube logos that we can use on our graphic. I'm gonna pick something simple like one of these here. Let's go to this one. Then we're gonna double click on it, and let's change that to white. And now let's make this one bigger. That's it, pretty simple. Now obviously you can go through and customize yours up more, but this is literally pretty much all we're using on our channel. So then what you wanna do is hit save so that it is saved in your account. 
Then you just wanna come up here to download. Now, because this image is so small, you can really use any of them, but I'm gonna choose a Retina JPEG just so it's a high quality version that's coming out. We're going to save that on our desktop. Let's go YT watermark and hit save. And now we're gonna go and upload that onto our YouTube channel. So you wanna go over to YouTube, open up your studio dashboard area. Then down on the left hand side, you wanna choose customization under branding at the top here. This is where they've moved it to. Down the bottom here, you have video watermark. So in our case, we already have one up there. I can remove that one so that we don't have one. And you can see in here that it's got those requirements again, 150 by 150 pixels uh, is recommended. So we come down here to upload. We'll go ahead and select our file here and go open. We can crop it down if we need to, but by default, we've already made what YouTube is after, so we don't need to crop or scale it. Let's choose done. And our little graphic image there is shown. Now next to that, you can actually choose the display time or where this is going to show on your video. So the default here is just to show at the end of your video in the last 15 seconds of your video. You also get to choose if you like it shown for the entire video from absolute start right through to the finish, or you can choose a custom start time. Now this is normally what we have our set to so that it shows up at around the 30 second mark after any ads have popped up or anything like that, then it's going to show up on the screen. So that's what we have our set to. Then all you need to do to save this is just come up the top here to publish and that is now saved and showing on all of your videos. So let's just check out one of our videos and I'll show you if we go to around the 30 second mark, you'll see it appear down the bottom here. And when people put their mouse over it, then that's where they can subscribe. So that's how easy it is to create your branded watermark. So now that you've got your YouTube branding watermark sorted, if you wanna find out how you can grow faster on YouTube strategically by doing some keyword research, then check out the video linked on screen, taking you through three tools that you need to know for best results. I'll see you in there.